Hey, what's up you guys? It's Hilarion Garbuzo with you. Today we'll have a talk on OpenCV and the hard cascade classifier of face detection. Let's talk about it! Guys, really, I need your help. Push the like button, subscribe and give me a comment. What can I do for you next? Let's crash the YouTube algorithm together! As usual, first of all, uh, first of all, uh, we need to import uh, libraries. So we would import NumPy uh, for linear algebra, pandas for data processing, uh, visualization with Matplotlib, uh, image processing with uh, OpenCV, extracting uh, zip files with star file and systems. Uh, summary. Uh, in the study, face detection was performed from the images uh, in the LFW dataset. And before face detection in LFW images, uh, multiple face detection performed in uh, single images. Uh, desired number of images are taken from the zip file uh, in LFW dataset. Uh, then the face detection was made from these images. Let's define what is uh, labeled faces in the wild dataset LFW. Uh, label faces in the wild is a database of face photographs designed for studying the problem of unconstrained face recognition. This database was created and maintained by researchers at the University of Massachusetts. Uh, uh, it contains uh, 13,233 images of 5,749 people uh, that were detected and sent by uh, the face uh, Viola Jones face detector and collected from the web. 1680 of the people pictured have two or more distinct photos in the dataset. The original database contains four different sets of LFW images and also three different types of aligned images. According to the uh, researchers, uh, deep funneled images produce superior results for most face uh, verification algorithms compared to the other image types. Hence, uh, the dataset uploaded here is the deep funnel version. Uh, so let's now explore it. How does it look like? It contains me uh, uh, metadata too. So here we go. Different types of images of different people known and uh, not uh, well known I think so uh, here we go we've got the uh, metadata all dates readme file matches pairs people different different people It, uh, it was splitted uh, to dev set and uh, dev train set. So here we go. Let's now explore it uh, with our model of face detection. And we need to define the face detector class. Uh, here, how we would define it. All of you guys know the uh, OpenCV uh, library. Uh, and all of you guys know uh, Cascade classifier, but let's uh, renew your knowledge and uh, see what it is. So in this tutorial, uh, you'll learn how the hard Cascade object detection works. Uh, we will see the basics of face detection and eye detection using the hard feature-based Cascade classifiers. And uh, we will use uh, classifier class to detect objects in a video stream. Particularly, we'll use the functions. And uh, here we go. The theory uh, we would explore it briefly because all of you guys know it. Object detection using hard feature-based cascade classifiers is an effective object detection method uh, proposed by Paul Viola and Michael uh, Jones in their uh, paper Rapid Object Detection Using a Boosted Cascade of Simple Feature uh, in 2001. It is a machine learning based approach where a cascade function is trained uh, from a lot of positive and negative images. 
it is then used to detect objects in uh, other images. Uh, here uh, we will work with face detection. Initially the algorithm needs a lot of positive images and negative images to train the classifier. Then we need to extract features from it. Uh, for these higher features uh, shown in the below images are used. Uh, they are just like our convolution kernel. Each feature is a single value obtained by subtracting sum of pixels under the white rectangle from sum of pixels under the uh, black rectangle. Now all possible sizes and locations of each kernel are used to calculate lots of features. For each feature calculation we need to find the sum of the pixels under white and black rectangles. To solve this they introduce the integral image, however like uh, your image it uses the calculations for a given pixel to an operation involving just 4 pixels. Uh, but among all these features we calculated most uh, of them are irrelevant. Uh, uh, the top row shows uh, two good features. Uh, the first feature selected seems to focus on the property that the region of the eyes is often darker than the region of the nose and cheeks. The second feature selected relies uh, on the property that the eyes are darker than the bridge of the nose. But the same window applied to cheeks or any other place is irrelevant. So how do we select the best features out of uh, 100? Uh, uh, 60,000 features. Uh, it is achieved by add a boost. Uh, for this, we apply each and every feature on all the training images. For each feature, it finds the best threshold, which will classify the faces to positive and negative. Obviously, there will be errors or misclassifications. So we select the features with minimum error rate, which means they are the features that most accurately classify the face and non face images. Mm, then the same uh, process is done, uh, now uh, error rates are calculated, also new weights. The process is continued until the required accuracy or error rate is achieved uh, or the required number of features are found. And the final classifier is a weighted sum of these weak classifiers. It is called weak because uh, it alone can classify the image, but together with others forms of a strong classifier, the paper says even 200 features provide detection with 95% accuracy. Their final setup had around uh, 6000 features. So now you take an image, take each uh, 24 by 24 window, apply 6000 features to it, check uh, it is face or not. Wow, uh, the artists have a good solution for that. Uh, I wouldn't uh, tell you, uh, I, uh, I wouldn't read it for you. You can uh, read by yourself. And uh, now uh, we'll see the code in Python. Uh, so the OpenCV library provides a training method. Uh, cascade classifier training or pre-trained models that can be read using uh, cascade classifier. The pre-trained models are located in the data folder in the OpenCV installation or can be found here. So here is the Python code where we define uh, the method and define uh, use the, our uh, uh, cam and uh, here is the result of the code above and using uh, as input the video stream of a built-in webcam. So it works, it's not a deep learning uh, method uh, the, uh, and it's uh, as I told you it's a method from uh, from year 2001. Let's uh, show the image where we are going to detect faces. Uh, let's define the function get natural team and show image where we are using image show for uh, plotting. And in this image, it's a national football uh, Turkey league. Uh, we would define uh, detect face. And here we go. Uh, we would define detect face. The face will detect it in gray image. So uh, we're detecting image uh, with image gray, scale factor, uh, min, uh, minimum neighbors, minimum size, and uh, we, uh, the detected faces show in color image uh, in bounding box. So national, uh, we're getting uh, a national team and detecting face uh, on it. And here we go, the face is detected. 
and uh, uh, playing around uh, function parameters we can detect all of the faces on the image. That's how uh, OpenCV Cascade Classifier works. I hope it was useful for you and you can um, uh, use uh, OpenCV in your work. Uh, but uh, you need to remember that it's not a deep learning method and uh, next time I'll show you how you can use deep learning method to detect faces uh, in images. And I found the kernel at Serkan Peldek, it's a researcher at Izmir uh, from Turkey. Thank you Serkan Peldek.